backyard into a relaxing oasis. Instead, several Houston area families have been left with partially completed pits after paying tens of thousands of dollars to a local pool company. My backyard has been an absolute nightmare. A big disastrous pit in the ground. Channel 2 Investigates is tracking down the two men who promised pool paradise but left a trail of broken dreams. Investigator Bill Spencer reveals what he's discovered about the company, Passion Pools LLC, and he's revealing how to do a thorough background check on a contractor before you hire. Ah, the promise of a beautiful new pool. <laughs> Sparkling water, family. You, you see something like this and you're like, oh, this would be great in my backyard. Howard Walford and his wife have always dreamed of it. Every time I go over someone's house who has a pool, it's like this kind of oasis of tranquility in their backyard. Now, welcome to Howard's Oasis. What a disaster. It's, it's a mess. It's a real mess. It's an ugly, unfinished cement swamp with filthy water, exposed pipe, exposed rebar, sharp wire, and rusty nails. When you have children, you love having, you know, things like this kicking around for them to cut themselves on. Howard hired a company called Passion Pools out of Magnolia, Texas in December. It says the contractors let weeks go by with no work. Howard says he was promised a refund of all unspent funds, but has gotten nothing. How much in total did this pool company take from you? About $34,000. But Howard isn't the only one. Channel 2 Investigates has found a total of six different families that each gave Passion Pools thousands of dollars for pools that remain unfinished. How much money did you give these guys all together? Over $60,000. Nikki Petrelli paid Passion Pools a total of $63,475 for a luxury pool and spa for her two kids. This is what she got for that money. Now, she's suing the company. My children have been waiting to swim in a pool that we don't have, we still currently don't have. This has been going on since last summer. Paul Sarver of River Oaks paid Passion Pools over $56,000. But after four months, the job, he says, was still incomplete. Sarver fired the company and has filed a lawsuit claiming the company violated the Deceptive Trade Practices Act. And Jason Beard, he hired Passion Pools last July. He says five months and $22,000 later, his pool looked like this. He fired the company after he says a lot of excuses about project delays. Oh, it's raining, but there was no rain over here. Um, they had issues with contractors and subs that weren't doing good jobs. Roger Russell. I have you out. Yeah, we're trying to find Roger Russell. He doesn't live here anymore. For weeks, Channel 2 Investigates has been trying to track down Roger Russell, whose state records show is director of Passion Pools, and Robert Campbell, whose state records show is director and owner of the pool company. At the one-time office and showroom of Passion Pools, we found the place nearly cleaned out. It's locked. And it looks like these guys have clearly moved out of here. The dreams were nightmares. As for Howard Walford, looking at this big cement hole in the ground makes him sick. Yeah, I had envisioned this, this sort of oasis of tranquility that I could come home to and relax. Instead, right now, every time I come home, my stomach is churning. It's... Now, we did receive this statement from Passion Pools today. It reads in part, quote, Passion Pools has built hundreds of pools and has satisfied customers. Passion Pools LLC did run into cash flow issues due to 13 of our customers not paying under the terms of their contract. Passion Pools LLC also had several employees of their subcontractors not perform to Passion Pools LLC's standards and a very wet summer. We put this entire statement online for you, but the thing you really want to know is how to protect yourself so something like this mess doesn't happen to you. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Number one, you want to check to see if any lawsuits have been filed against the company you want to hire. You can do that online, and it's easy. Number two, you want to do a, a criminal background check on the principal people you deal with, with the salesman, with the manager. You can do that through the DPS website. And number three, check the Better Business Bureau website to see how many complaints have been filed against that company, the letter grade they get, and what the complaints are all about.